Welcome back. You're tuned into Mid Cap Radar on CNBC TV 18. Well, SVP Global Ventures is the stock on our radar. The company will invest 100 crore rupees to set up the new greenfield facility for technical textiles at Jhalavar, Rajasthan. We are now joined by retired Major General O.P. Gulia, who is the CEO of SVP Global Ventures. Mr. Gulia, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, we wanted to understand more about your investment plans. Uh, you are investing around 100 crore rupees. Uh, what is the market size of technical textiles that you're, uh, that is there and what will your market share look like? What is the initial revenue potential from this particular project? Thank you, Sonal, uh, for uh, providing this opportunity to you, to the CNBC, uh, to represent my company, SVP Global, on this prestigious channel and uh, explain to you the technical textile uh, forage which we are making. You see, technology is playing a major part in day-to-day -day life and so it is in the textile field. This is going to be the future. And we are thankful to the government for identifying this important field. And if you see in last one year, the government of India has announced three major incentives to go into this field. My company, SVP Global, is a technology-driven company. Right in the first, in 2016, when we established this plant at Halawar, we went for best technology in the world, and it is most ultra-modern technology Second plant in uh, Oman also in 2019 was technology driven. And today we are among the 2% in the world who have got this state of the art technology in spinning. So, so keeping this in mind, uh, the chairman who is a great visionary and uh, had a flair for this technology has now decided to go in for this textile uh, field into technical textiles. And we are looking at establishing this project in our existing location at uh, Jalawar. Because See, Jalawar Mr. is Mr. a Gullia, very modern plant. Yes, Mr. Gulia, I just wanted some numbers. When will it be commissioned, this plant, which you are setting up? And what is the revenue yes. potential in the in initial years? What kind of utilization will you function it at? Yeah, so we are looking to establish it in the next 12 to 15 months because uh, Jalawar has already got the existing facility. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go in for civil work and all, so we'll establish it very fast. And we are looking at a capex of around 100 crore. This capex we are looking for within our own resources, that is the present operations will accrue this cash flow. And uh, we need not to take any debt for this. Mm -hmm. The capacity which I'm looking from this is approximately uh, 4,500 tons per year uh, capability to produce this uh, technical textiles uh, every year. And how soon do you think, sir, you will be able to achieve 100% utilization? What is the demand scenario, you know, currently? And what could be the annual revenues that you accrue? The demand in the textile industry has increased almost 18% in last one year. The COVID, uh, in uh, FI21, COVID plays a major role in uh, uh, getting a setback to the manufacturing industry. However, in last one year, uh, there is a pent up demand for the apparel and textile world over. And so is for the technical textile because this is the future field, you know. Mm -hmm. And we are looking to have a revenue out of this of almost 200 crores every year, which is going to add to our top line and bottom line, which presently is around 1,422 crores and likely to go up to 1,800 crore with our capacity in Oman coming up, which will increase the overall revenue. Okay. So we are looking at it around 200 crores per year. Okay, 200 crores, we will start uh, coming in into your books by which year? By, uh, say, three years from now? FY23. FY23, okay. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you spoke about the Oman facility, and adding that, you will get 1,800 crores worth of revenue. When will that be functional? See, Oman, uh, we had just declared about a month back the COD for our Oman facility, and with that, uh, we established uh, around 1,500 500, uh, uh, spin, uh, uh, 3,500 rotors and uh, 150,000 spindles. And with that, the overall capacity has gone to 4 lakh spindles and 5,900 rotors. So this facility is going to uh, increase our revenue in FY22 uh, in quarter 3 and 4. So today from 1,400 crores to almost 1,800 crores, we are looking at it. 200 uh, next year, this will add this technical textile. Mm. And what are the margins that you would enjoy on this? Uh, presently, we are looking, uh, we are posting a very robust uh, margin in our company of uh, almost around 22% in EBITDA, 
and uh, 39 to 30, uh, 40 crores per quarter in fact. And we look forward, similarly, initially first year it may not be so much from technical textile, but putting this together because the margins are huge and government has given a huge incentive in uh, the terms of PLI. So we are looking at similar kind of uh, uh, margins around over 20% in uh, technical textile. Uh, Mr. Gulia, last question before we let you go and requesting you to uh, give us an answer on this one, uh, a quick answer on this one. Uh, your FY18 revenues were at around 2500 crore rupees. By when do you expect to scale back to those levels? Because since then, I have seen, I was just looking at the numbers, they have been around the 1400 to 1500 crore mark. Uh, by when do you plan to scale back to those higher levels? Uh, uh, by around uh, FI23, we will touch the, the same uh, scales what you are looking at in uh, FI18. So 2500 so, crores by FI23, you are saying? Yes, that is what we are looking because uh, the plant will be functioning at full capacity and uh, Oman gives us a huge uh, 